So we got a little bit of a flat day here. Down 20 points, 30 less than the expected move from this morning. So probably some people losing out on uh, on some premiums there. Not much to say about it. Got a new all-time high right out of the gate and then uh, just, just fell from there. Not any, well, it's, I don't think it's a significant enough drop to weight it to the downside yet. Like we still really need to lose, probably really need to lose uh 20, uh, 57, 57, 20 close might've been a little bit more bearish. Yeah. I don't, I don't think this close is particularly bearish. Uh, now that it makes a difference, uh, you know, we got another, we got another bounce on trend here on ES. Um, and you know, if that moves back above the 85 level, we'll probably get another retest of the, uh, new all-time high that we set up at 57.98 and that we could actually get that in the um in the overnight session so yeah i guess i guess we'll see how that shakes out you just close about 57.80 uh no yes did not dollar moved up pretty hard today gained back some fairly significant ground on the euro and the pounds and a bunch on the dollar so big bounce off of the off of the low on the dollar there and yields at the top end of the curve rising. Uh, most of this coming in after uh, the five-year auction today, which had a little bit less demand, I think, than people expected. Correlation uh, turning down into the end of the day with the move on NQ, but mostly, mostly pulling back throughout the intraday. Um, and even here, uh, three-month core is still quite a ways away from its local low. Um, carry trade leverage turning around on the six and three month with the top end of the yield curve moving back up. That frees up some leverage here. Um, and we might see the uh, leverage on the 10 year uh, push back up towards 7x, which would put USD JPY around 145, 146. Not too much bond volatility right now. Uh, gold still up, uh, silver pulled back, so did copper, um, agricultural commodities moved up, and oil dropped back below 70 yet again. Um, SKU continues to fall off, but remains fairly high, uh, 162.41. 74.55% of the S&P above its 20-day moving average. And we actually had a little bit of a drop in correlation with between VIX cash and VIX futures here. Um, that's our first decline over the last, well, since the 16th. If that spread starts to move further apart, we may start to see VIX pick up um, and move more in line with VX. Still pricing at about 80 points of rate cuts by... Uh, by January. Out here on the daily, today's rejection is kind of significant, um, but the breakdown from the rejection is not significant enough. We still need to lose that 56.69 level at the previous monthly high, and then really to confirm a breakdown, we'd probably want to lose 55.70 and 55.23. Um, so still quite a ways to go down before anything's confirmed on the bear side, but it is looking a little shittier. So that's kind of cool. Why is oil so low again? Isn't everyone at war? Yeah, but everyone's also short oil, so you know, it's 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 problematic. It isn't even the memories. Micron is a strong buy analyst, probably. Anyway, um, that's it for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Have a good night, guys.